Today is day 11 on the Appalachian Trail. We're going to Damascus today. I just left the shelter. It's very early at 6.30. It's about 10 miles to Damascus. I'm very happy to report there were no bears overnight. I had a hard time falling asleep because at one point it sounded like there might have been a bear. But I think it was just one of the guys doing something with his stuff in his tent. So that's done. My can was exactly where I left it. Okay. Weather's supposed to be good. Let's go hiking. Good morning, guys. How's your day going? You still warming up? Still stretching? I'm headed to Damascus. Maybe I'll see you there. Three, five. Bear. Bye, Tennessee. Bye. Hello, Virginia. Woo, woo. Hello, sir. Where are you headed? If you want to go to town, you got to turn around. I'm just saying. Do you have a name? Frankie, it was nice to meet you. Have a great day. I am almost in Damascus. I've got about, I've got less than two miles, I think, to get to the edge of town. And then I'm going to walk by, walk down Clifton Street because I have friends from South Florida and my friend Bruce Dunbar has family that lives here in Damascus. I'm not going to knock on their door because they don't. They aren't around anymore. I think the address is of his aunt who is very elderly and Possibly in a convalescent home. I can't remember. Anyway, it'll just be fun. And then I have to figure out where I'm going to stay because this is a Nero for me. There's a couple of options. I'd like to stay at this one hostel that charges $40 for a bunk. But there's also a church that only charges $10, which seems more logical, but I should probably go there. But you can't check in there until at least 3 p.m. So it's fine. I'm probably gonna try the hostel first, the $40 place. And if that's a no-go, then I'll try the church. We're in Virginia. Well, I just got a text from the $40 bunk hostel saying that I can have a bunk. So I can check in there at 1230, which is way better than 3 p.m. And this bunk house also has laundry available, whereas the church hostel does not have laundry, so all these things add up. So, yay! It is like 10, 15 right now. It's 
gonna be a nice Nero. Hello, Damascus. It's nice to meet you. that you can walk through. They're super cool. Nero to Damascus. Oh, too bad you can't camp there. friend's family lives. That's super cute. Super, super cute. Beaver Creek. I'm gonna come back here next week for trail days. Pretty excited about it too. And there's a new visitor center in town, which is super cool. Let's check out the new trail center, shall we? Since I have an hour to kill. There's a map of the whole trail, the elevation profile. at that Damascus diner. All right, I just went into the local pharmacy and found a different knee brace, which will hopefully help my knee even more than the leg strap, which helps some. We'll see, time will tell. I got myself a knee brace today, which I think has a lot of be more supportive of what's going on with my left knee. Here. At the end of every day, on top, if it feels squeaky, and then by the morning, it feels normal. It's very weird. On the outside of my left knee, sometimes feels that same frictiony, squeaky. I have a red spot right here. I think it's a bug bite. It was itchy earlier today. Um, I walked up the road and got myself another foot long sub from Subway for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, this is the end of day 11. I'm at the Broken Fiddle Hostel in Damascus. It's pretty nice. Um, they play loud music out back, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not out back. Anyhow, 
I will be back on the trail in the morning for day 12. Yeah. See you then.